What do we know so far about Stranger Things Season 2? Find out on today's Nerdist News! In less than a month, Stranger Things went from that cool-looking Winona Ryder show that came out of nowhere to the bell of the Netflix ball with everyone in the Nerdosphere obsessing over the well-harnessed nostalgia, crazy cool new sci-fi worlds, and incredible Matthew Modine hair the show has gifted us with. But now that we've burned through the scant eight episodes in season one, we're left wondering, what's next? Well, while Netflix hasn't yet greenlit season two, rushed assured that they will, the evidence, Marco Polo season two, Fuller House season two, that actually physically pains me, Hemlock Grove seasons two and three, the list goes on. Stranger Things is coming back, don't you worry, but what'll come back with it from the upside down? Let's look at the clues left behind by the Duffer Brothers so far. Oh, and season one, spoilers, baby. Folks, baby? Folks, who wrote baby? Okay. Season one, spoilers, baby! 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 Still my baby. Baby! Eleven! Obviously the standout character of the show, Eleven has birthed a shitload of fan art, cosplay, and memes, but after her heroic sacrifice at the end of season one, is there any chance we'll see our favorite acid baby return? Well, we saw Hopper drop her favorite treat, Egos, into a hidden forest box near Nancy's tree portal to the Upside Down after he was coerced into speaking with some shady looking government types. So yeah, Eleven is definitely out there and the US government knows about it. The question is, is she chilling in the forest, eating Egos, having somehow restored herself? Was she teleported back to the Upside Down, eating Egos? Or is she somewhere else, eating Egos, living a new mystery for us to solve in season two? I love that it's Egos. As Matt Duffer told IGN, the great thing Thing about having a portal to another dimension is that you're not boxed in narratively. There's a lot that we can do. So we're guessing she's in the upside down and we'll have to see how she manages to make her way back. Fine by us. We'd love to know more about all that spooky evil dust and those creepy Demogorgon eggs. Oh, and what else is to come of Hopper's meeting with those sketchball government goons? who we can only assume are somehow related to the crew that was preserving the Hawkins lab secrets. As Ross Duffer put it, the cleanup and the mess of all this and Will dying and coming back to life, this is not a simple cleanup job led by Hopper. Our characters are drawn closer to the government having to make a deal with the devil. That is a really good point. Didn't really think about Will having to go back to school after, you know, kind of having a public funeral with a cadaver and everything. Talk about kids not wanting to play with you at the playground. <laughs> and what exactly is wrong with Will, who we saw last barfing interdimensional slugs into his bathroom sink as he briefly flashed back to the Upside Down? Did he really escape, or did he just bring it back to our own reality with him? Well, the Duffer Brothers gave a hint in the same interview with IGN, saying a big part of season two that we've been discussing is what is that effect? Did it affect anybody else? But specifically, is Will okay? The short answer being, no. They also mentioned that three other characters entered the Upside Down without a helmet, and while they may not be as afflicted as Will, they're definitely susceptible to whatever effects he's experiencing. Interesting. So could Stranger Things Season 2 be, in part, a Contagion-esque epidemic story? Well, that theory seems a lot more likely when you factor in the news that the next season will focus on a new, nicer crew running the Hawkins lab. The Duffers say they're excited to introduce a new batch of scientists, saying, it's not as evil and mysterious as it was in Season 1. We might start to get into what they're doing a little bit more. Maybe they seem a little bit more friendly, at least at the beginning. So, okay. Uh, not a new, nicer crew, just a new crew. Either way, it'll be cool to see more of what goes on at Ole Hawkins and hopefully to see even more sci-fi slash horror concepts thrown into the mix. Time travel? Space stuff? I like space stuff. Maybe a Frankenstein. The 10 super-powered kids that came before 11. We're down for whatever you guys want to do. But one thing the Duffers were willing to confirm is the time frame. Stranger Things Season 2 will skip forward a year to account for how much the young actors have grown up since shooting the first batch of episodes. And to fill in that gap, the brothers say they'd love to produce an era-appropriate 8-bit video game. Um, yes, please. Please. Please do that. But what do you guys think? Are you psyched for Stranger Things Season 2 to continue the threads the Duffer Brothers left behind? Were you one of the folks who hoped this would be an anthology series a la American Horror Story? What do you want to see explored in Season 2? Let's discuss.
And something big is happening Friday. That's right, Nerdist is coming back to Twitch. We've got eight hours of Thunderdome to kick it off. And then next week, a bunch of your favorite shows from our open beta week are coming back, including Secret Headquarters, Bizarre States, Oh yeah, and so much more. And Dan's got everything that you need to know about Captain Marvel on an all-new Dan Cave. Find it all over at Nerdist.com. Woo! Woo!